What was once a run for life has now become a run to remember for a local elementary school teacher. I'll always run for Denise. She'll always be on my mind. I'll always wear something that remembers when she passed and whatever, because she was such an incredible person. When Chris Benio and Denise DiMarzo met, they not only fell in love with each other, but also with running. Six months after marrying, however, Denise was diagnosed with ALS. But together, they decided that would not put their love of running to an end. <laughs> Denise died this year on July 23rd, after battling ALS for over five years. But in an effort to keep their dream of running 10 marathons together by 2016 alive, Chris kept on running. The point was, this isn't about me, this was about Denise and keeping her spirit alive and something she wanted to do. And I know she was there, you know, per participating in whatever way she could, even though she wasn't physically there. He recently completed the Chicago Marathon, pushing Denise's jogger and carrying with him her spirit. It was the greatest, literally, with hands down, the best day and a half I've had since Denise passed. I felt her presence, certainly at the end when I was really hurting around like 19, 19 and a half miles, I was like, this is weird, this is really hurting. And, and for whatever reason, when I hit mile 20, I was able just to run all the way in, didn't have any problems. And I mean, I had to be her making sure that I got in safely. And you know, that's kind of what she would do. It's kind of how she rolls. What's become an easier journey physically has made it that much harder emotionally. She's supposed to be there. You know, that was the plan. We were going to do number nine in Chicago and we were going to do number 10. And then probably we may not have run any more after that. Chris will soon run that 10th marathon here in Naperville and will again push Denise's jogger alongside him to help keep her memory alive. That's the most important thing for me is to keep her memory alive because she's such a good person and was just such an inspiration to so many people. The Naperville Marathon will be Chris's 48th marathon run. The race takes place October 23rd.